Derek Stafford. Derek Stafford is a former deputy Marksville marshal who was involved in a harrowing crime. On the night of November 3rd of 2015, officers Derek Stafford and Norris Greenhouse would attempt to stop a vehicle that was being driven by Christopher Few. The man's son Jeremy Martis was a passenger in the front seat. Few and his girlfriend Megan Dixon had gotten into an argument at a bar and were taking separate vehicles home. She reported seeing Few drive past her with a police car with two officers following him. Stafford and Greenhouse activated the patrol car lights, but Few still failed to pull over. This would lead to a two-mile car chase that ended in a dead-end street near the Marksville State Historic Site entrance. The two police officers fired 18 rounds of ammunition into Few's vehicle at around 9.30 p.m., despite the fact that Few had both his hands in the air. As a result, Few was injured, but his son Jeremy would lose his life. The entire ordeal would be recorded on police body camera footage. The other two police officers called for backup and were also involved in the unfortunate event. Jeremy was diagnosed with autism at the age of two and was just a first grader at the time of his death. Colonel Mike Edmondson of the Louisiana State Police began an investigation into the incident and emphasized that the video recorded by the body camera was essential to the arrest of the involved officers. Judge William Bennett of Louisiana's 12th Judicial District Court would be assigned to the case, and he issued a gag order that prevented all involved parties from discussing the case with the press. During trial, both Stafford and Greenhouse remained under house arrest. The jury found Stafford guilty and then sentenced him to 40 years in prison half of which would be served without any benefit of parole, probation, or suspension of sentence. Greenhouse pled guilty to negligent homicide and malfeasance in office in September of 2017. He would be sentenced to seven years in prison, but was released after serving only 21 months of his sentence. According to the Attorney General Prosecutor, the stark difference in the sentence of the two was due to the differences in their actions. Brian Devaney, Sean Dolan, and Devon Smith Brian, Sean, and Devon are the former Sharon Hill police officers who were charged with taking the life of an eight-year-old child. The young girl, named Fanta Belidi, was walking home with her mother after a football game at the Academy Park High School back in August of 2021. The three officers were present at the site and fired their weapons in response to a fire that they had heard in the vicinity that wasn't related to the football game. The three officers targeted a black Chevy Impala which they assumed was where the shots were coming from. The vehicle was just passing the exiting crowd of which Fanta and her mother were a part. Fanta would lose her life because of the over-eagerness to fire their weapons. The two men responsible for the initial shots, Angelo Ford and Hasin Strand, were charged with first-degree murder for Fanta's death, but they later took a plea deal and this charge was withdrawn. The three officers, on the other hand, were facing 12 criminal charges, on counts of reckless endangerment and death. However, as part of a plea deal negotiated by the district attorney, the second charge was stopped. Fanta's family also approved of the deal and considered it an act of accountability, and the officers admitted to their wrongdoing. The family did not want to relive the painful tragedy that took their little girl away from them in a jury trial on the more serious charges. As misdemeanors, the 10 reckless endangerment charges, each carrying a maximum of two years in prison, this meant that the officers faced up to 20 years in prison, and the sentencing was set for January 12th of 2023. No matter how long or short the sentence may be, going to prison is inevitable for the three former officers. Once the sentencing is complete, the family's attorney, Bruce Castor, will move forward with the civil case. According to him, I want justice to take its course here in Delaware County, and then we'll move forward with the civil case. The family is also insisting on more training and police clarifications from Sharon Hill Borough Police Department.